This is the trailer for the Taiwanese horror film The Rope Curse 2. Stay tuned after the trailer for more information about the movie and a short review. The Rope Curse 2 is about a group of YouTube ghost hunters who livestream a ritual where a demon is captured in a rope and destroyed. The spirit captured is a powerful Thai demon who possesses people leading them to commit suicide. But the demon is released and a spate of suicides in a local village start to occur, leading the ghost hunters, with the help of a powerful elder, to try and recapture the demon to stop its rampage. This Taiwanese movie is a sequel in name only to the Rope Curse film from 2018, which was about a young girl who hung herself and gets revenge against her bullies decades later. The only connection is the idea of using a rope to catch her a spirit and the same producers and director. The movie is directed by Shi Han Liao, who directed the original film back in 2018, which was his first full-length cinematically released film. Since then, he's also directed the drama film The Paradise and a handful of TV series. Leading the way as Jia Min is Wilson Xu, who was also the lead in the director's film The Paradise and the 2018 drama film The Raw. Alongside her is Kang Shen Li, with a long career in Taiwanese films, including his first role in the 1992 crime film Revel of the Neon God, lead roles in the 2015 drama Sashimi, and roles in The Tenant Downstairs and Abyssal Spider. Also in the film is Vera Chen, who was also in The Tenant Downstairs, the brilliant thriller The Silent Forest, and a handful of short films. The movie released theatrically in Taiwan on September 2nd, 2020, with a worldwide web streaming release on the 29th and 30th of December in the same year, depending on your territory. The movie isn't as strong as the first film, and the use of the YouTube and found footage style aspects of the film drag the movie down, targeting a more youthful audience than the original film. Using our patent pending ghost rating, which stands for Great Horror or Stupid Trash, I award this film three ghosts. Even though it isn't as good as the first film, there are enough spooks and scares here to keep your interest, and the Thai demon element is a nice touch, even if it is a little convoluted to follow. The acting is a little spotty from the female lead, who doesn't show too much emotion, and perhaps 10 minutes too long, but this one is worthy of your time if you're after a decent cursed film. Stay tuned for more trailers and reviews about films here on We Love Asian Horror. Press like on the video and subscribe to support us. Thank you and we'll see you next time.